This is part two of the Monster Eating Something game. I took a look at the last design and I've listened to some comments about how that gameplay works and I decided that there might be a better way or an alternative way for you to design this sort of game. Recall that in the example we had a monster who was being fed cookies and we so we had two images on the page there was the cookie icon that was pretty small and the monster icon that was pretty large so I would make the cookie a draggable item and the monster head would be a drop zone I link the two together and when we preview when I put the cookie on the monster it actually stays on top and it looks a little fake so our goal was to create a little bit more realistic game where the cookie would sort of disappear behind the monster and make it look like the monster ate the cookie. So the solution, as you recall, was to actually duplicate the monster image. And the image on the bottom would be the drop zone. And the image on the top is a draggable item that we lock in place. We align the monster heads so that they're right on top of each other and the student can't see that there's two layers. And then when we preview, the cookie actually disappears because it's sitting on top of the first layer. However, as you can see, the back monster head moves and still looks a little bit fake. Also, we can move the top layer around a little bit and that's sort of bothersome as well. For a curious student who might manipulate everything on the page, this also doesn't look so good. So today I was trying to think of another workaround that might work, and I think I have a solution. So instead of making both layers of the monster heads the same size, make the drop zone very small and make your image that will be on top much bigger. That way, the draggable item, the cookie, will still be smaller than the drop zone. But when the drop zone wiggles, when the student gets a correct answer, the student won't see it wiggling behind the large head. You can align the images however you want. I use the align horizontal and vertical function on the right hand menu, or you can simply put your drop zone right in the middle where the monster's mouth would be, and then sort of eyeball it and drag the second layer over the top. Now I've got my second layer on top. It is a draggable item, but I am going to lock it. And then let's preview it and see how it looks. I drag the cookie to the monster's mouth and drop it. It does disappear, which is what we wanted. And I click Submit. And you don't see the wiggling image behind. That's great. The other problem was that the student could drag the head out of place, but I've also sort of solved that problem because the drop zone is so small that as soon as they drag this big head somewhere, it will snap back into place. So although it's not perfect, it kind of cleans up those aesthetic issues that we were seeing with the first monster game. Good luck!